Back to the 80s is what people are saying while talking of the Gorkha agitation in Darjeeling, with students now taking the Gorkha land agitation to different parts of the country and beyond the control of the existing political leadership. An eerie silence has gripped Darjeeling town. The familiar chugging of the steam engines at this station is no longer there. On the streets, it's a game of cricket and the occasional police vehicle passing by. Many say this is reminiscent of the 80s agitation. The only time there's activity is when these protests are taking place. Rallies through the town, candlelight vigils in the evening. On everyone's lips, only one demand, Gorkhala. Does this remind you of the 80s? Yeah. This is the voice of hills. Father Kinle Shiring has spent most of his time in the hills, first as a student and then as an educationist. He says the problem cannot be allowed to linger. He has written to Mamta Banerjee as his students have been writing to him from all corners of the world. We lost a full one generation of students in the 1980s. And I'm afraid the same story is going to be repeated again. I don't want to see that. And that is why my plea uh, to uh, Madam Mamta Banerjee. For the politicians leading the protests, this is the last test. If they fail, they know they lose support of the locals. This time's hesitation is more vigorous than 1986. By any means, this time we will succeed. This time is more realistic because, because okay, there is no difference amongst people. Okay, the, the Gurkhas. All eyes in Darjeeling are on Delhi. So far, not the most positive feedback to a separate state. As the indefinite strike continues, Darjeeling is staring at a crisis which needs a solution beyond the politics. In Darjeeling with camera person Nirmal Sarkar, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV.